Hello everybody, and welcome to New Super Mario Let's Play and New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I am so excited to play this game because I have a lot of fun memories with it, and as we play the game I will be talking about those memories and how this game is super super nostalgic. So without further ado, let's get into this. Well, first I have a clear file. Hold on. Um, clear file. Yes. Alright. Delete that file. Now, let's get started with new... Oh yeah. So I will not be playing as Toad... I will show off Nabbit and Toadette. Uh, this game is a remake slash remaster of New Suburbs U. So they added Toadette uh, um, to, the, to the game and makes the game too easy. So I'll just be playing as the main four. Blue or Yellow Toad, Yaluigi or Mario. I think I will start as Mario. Let's start. Here we go. That's it. That's literally the entire story we get. Like, it's typical Mario fare. Peach gets kidnapped, we have to go save her. So, let's start on Acorn Plains, World 1. Let's do it. The first level, Acorn Plains Way. Ooh, this looks fun. Okay. I want to get some things out of the way um, before we start. Power-ups, we're going to be discussing them as we go. Super Mushroom does what, ex what you expect. The main selling point of this game was the um, uh, the Super Acorn, which is the flying turns you into a flying squirrel. With the flying squirrel, you can hover like the Tanuki suit, and you can like give yourself a little bit of a boost in the air, like so. The game teaches you about that really well. We, I will be doing 100%. Um, each episode will be one world long. Um, so yeah. I want to talk about my history, um, now that we have some of the gameplay stuff out of the way. I want to talk about some of the history with I have with the new Super Mario Bros. series, um, and I'll go over this as we go through the game. Um, ooh, nice. So, I have been playing the new Super Mario Bros. series for a while. Um, I started on the DS, um, and... Wow, what a treat it was. I don't have many fond memories with the DS one, in my opinion. It's not my favorite. Um, as bad as that sounds, it's not my favorite. I think it's because I was never allowed to play it because it, my sister used to own it. <laughs> and I was never allowed to play it unless we played together. That's the only thing I remember from playing that game. Um. <clears throat> oh yeah, here we have a red ring. Collect all eight red coins and you get a 1-up or a power-up. Pretty self-explanatory. Y'all have played a Mario game, y'all know what this is. <laughs> and we get a 1-up. So, I want- uh, I do have some fond memories of D with uh, New Super Mario Bros. DS, where... Um... It was more or less just to have the multiplayer- Ow! The multiplayer function... Within the game. 
Oh, here's a good example of the raccoon or the uh, flying squirrel suit being used. But we'll just fall in the star coin and get it. I love these colorful blocks. They're so cute. Anywho, I feel I mainly have a history with the multiplayer side of the new Super Mario Bros. DS game. Um, it's mainly just uh. How, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit, I'm a bit tired. You know, I'm recording this at late at night. Um, apologies if, if like, uh, in the announcement video, and I said that the video would be up on Tuesday, November fourth. Oh, <gasps> oh my God, we just got super lucky. It's, <clears throat> I'll talk about that mechanic later. Um, but I'm sorry if this video is up. A day after I, I said originally, um, I kind of got really distracted with other things, and it got it got to a point where I didn't get to record today, that day. So if this is out super late, my apologies. <clears throat> Anywho, let's go to one dash two, or Acorn Plains dash two. Um, so yeah, I mainly remember the multiplayer stuff from DS, and uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the DS had a multiplayer mode where you played as Mario and Luigi, and you had to collect stars and steal stars from each other. Whoever had the most stars at the end of the time limit won, and it was like the best thing ever. I also remember playing the mini games all the time too. Those were a big highlight of the DS game, the mini games, and <laughs> oh, that was so close, that was so close. And in my opinion, um, they're like the best part of the game. I will say, like, the game wasn't bad. It's just I just feel like it didn't really live up to the, the nostalgia that the Wii has. Um, but speaking of the Wii one, I want to discuss the Wii one as well. Um, the Wii one is where I have the most me fond memories of, because of. Um, I've talked about this before. I've talked about my aunt's house a lot late a lot with video games because I have a lot of fun memories with that aunt. And um that includes New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um I remember how I told you guys that uh, Super Mario World was my first video game? Well, uh New Super Mario Bros. Wii was my first video like introduction to a video game, being shown a video game. And I remember very fondly that, like, she was playing it with, I think, her husband or something. I don't remember. She was just playing through it, I think. And, um, they were on, of, like, the beach levels. And I'm just, that's the most fondest memory I have of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um, and how it really shaped my childhood at the time. Because I played the game so much <laughs> as a kid. And I wish I could play it again. I would I would love to relive those memories again. But alas, I do not own the game <laughs> on anything. So yeah, that'd be tough. I tried emulating it, but that never works for me because of the limited technology I have. Also, I missed a star coin. Let me go back and get that. <laughs> Let's see what's up here. Is it up here maybe? Yeah, it is. I think it is. Um, I'm going to get my answer here in a second. No, it was not up here. This is just a secret. Okie dokie. But yeah, I have a lot of fond memories um, with the Wii, and I remember um, playing it a lot with my little cousins as well. Oh, it's right. Whoops. Someone have a death counter in the comments? Death one. Or I'll just keep track. Um, I just remember having fond moments, or fond memories of... Uh, excuse me, of playing the game all the time. And I remember me and my little cousin would always play the game together. And we actually got, or me and my sister, and me and my sister would get so pissed. Like, all the time. Like, whenever I'd do something stupid to, like, mess with her, and she hated it, even though she was older than me. <laughs> but it was still fun. It was still fun. And then once my cousin was born at the time, we played it together, and that just that game just grew on me. <laughs> and I wish I could relive those moments again, but 
Again, I can't because I don't own a Wii, nor do I have the technology to emulate the game. So that was a bummer. A big bummer. Can I get these again? By chance? Yep. Cool. Fire flower. Ground pound, thank you. But yeah, I... <laughs> I just wish I could relive those memories again. But... Anyways. And then next up. New Super Mario Bros. 2, I think, is the one to have the most memory. Or, with, like... I think that started... That's, that, just, that game, uh helped me understand what nostalgia really was. Uh, in the sense that um, during that game came out in like 2012. It was like a launch game for this for the um, 3DS, I believe. And I remember constantly wanting that game, constantly, and watching the trailers for it a million times over because of, oh excuse me. A million times over. Because I loved how it looked, I loved the concept of coins, and it looked so cool. And I could finally have a new, a new Super Mario, game, Mario Bros. game in my hands. <laughs> so, I think I got it for like my birthday or Christmas or something. Or I just bought it. Um, but I played it, and I think like a year later or something, and I loved it. It was like, one of the best. Okay. Um, let's do the mid-castle. There's the tower. This is known as a tower level. Crushing Cog's tower. And Boom Boom comes back in this game, if y'all didn't know. Uh, he, origi he originated in Super Mario Bros. 3 um, on the NES, the original Nintendo console. Oh, oh, here we have a fun item. This one does not appear enough. The Ice Flower. This is another reason why I, ha why I love the Wii one, because it introduced the Ice Flower, and it only appears in the console games and never in the uh, New, Super Mar New Super Mario Bros. 2 or DS. And I think that's also what makes this nostalgic, is this power-up alone. Oh, there's a star coin over there. Uh, how do I get that? Let's see. <laughs> I may miss a few star coins. I'm not the, like... I know this game, but I don't at the same time. Oh, so I was scared for this one. Um, I know this game, but I don't. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> so, please excuse me if I miss a star coin or miss an exit or miss a secret. <laughs> or tell me in the comments if I miss something. That'd be fun. But for the most part, I have this game down pat. Because I've played it so much. And I was super excited when this game came out. Or got really announced for the Switch. I was like, oh my god, cool. I can finally experience this game because I didn't. I had a Wii U. I just never got to play this one. I never asked for it. I think but that or just didn't, or just blew past my radar because until the, up until the Switch came out, I was not very like into the gaming industry at the moment. Like I didn't, I didn't follow it as much as I do nowadays. But now, um, I, I was like, finally, I can play this really good Mario game that everyone felt bummed about because it was just another Super Mario's game. But, in my opinion, they're not just, like, it's not just a new Super Mario Bros. game. It's living childhood memories in some form or another, or having that nostalgia to uh, connection with these games. Even if I didn't play this one as a kid, it still holds, it still holds those Wii memories that I had. And, like, especially with New Super Mario Bros. 2, because they reused the map music from the Wii. God, that made me so happy to hear. Um, but yeah, that just sold it for me. Is this the last one? I hope not. Did I miss one? I did. That's not good. Let's go back down. <laughs> I don't know how I've been missing the second star coin all the time. Oh no, never mind. I'll come back here later. Because I don't think I can get the second one. I can't go back down. That sucks. Okay. Let's continue. Ooh, this is fun. Oh, Okay, maybe I can... Maybe I can do it like this? Yeah, satisfying as hell. I love the shortcut to skip the platforming. But I'm, actually, I want to go see how to do this. this. This can't be that hard, can it? Nope. <laughs> Pretty easy. They always give you a power up uh, before the boss, but I don't need it. 
if I miss a star coin, I'll just keep going and go get it at the end of the episode. Uh, that's how I'm going to be doing it, so it doesn't make it so monotonous. But here we have Boom Boom, one of the easiest bosses ever. Like, in every, every Mario game, you could just cheese this fight. Like so. Dead. <laughs> Easy peasy. That's it. <laughs> That's really all of it. <laughs> Alright, next we have... 1-3. I don't remember this one very well. But we'll go see what it is. Yes, save the game, please. Alright. Get the Super Acorn. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention we have an inventory of items similar to Mario Bros. 3. Um, that you can use... So yeah, the new, Super Mario game, the new Super Mario Bros. games, the console ones, like to do that. Um, I'm not going to go in that Toad House yet. Let's go explore more of the world. We can play in Stash 3. Oh, oh, we have the Rolling Hills. These are back from the Wii one. It's you know, like I'm not just, like there are going to be some things I've talked about. Because I'm like completely forgetful sometimes. You know me. <laughs> Y'all should know me by now. Well, you really don't, but I can be forgetful sometimes. <laughs> wow, that was close. That almost killed me. Oh, Yoshi! Oh, I forget you get Yoshi in this one. Or in this level, I mean. I know you get him in general, but <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, you got him so early. Yay! Yoshi doesn't appear too much in this game. Um, he's not really that useful. Instead, they substituted it with the baby Yoshis as like a main little extra power-ups. But hey, that works. I'll uh, go here. Okie dokie. Boom. Oh, I was supposed to use that shell for that. Oh, that makes sense. Keep going. <gasps> Yoshi, come here. Also, if he eats like eight or seven berries, he drops a random item. I think it's Cycle. I think it goes Ice Flower, Fire Flower, and then uh, Acorn Suit, which is super broken in this game, in my opinion. So, yeah. No, 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 no. I need Yoshi for something later. Okay, I think you need him for this, or you could just use the acorn, but we got all those star coins. Pretty simple. Okay, and that's the end of the level. Fire prana plants, you can spit fire after eating them. Pretty cool. Or you can eat the fireballs, whichever you want to do. This level's not too hard. This game isn't, isn't hard. The reason I chose this game is because... I'm gonna have a more relaxed gameplay experience and let's play for you guys. Um, after a long adventure of that was Link's Awakening, um, that was epic. We're gonna tone it. We toned it down a bit, you know. <laughs> it's kind of a pattern. So here we have a splitting pathway. The game will do this quite a bit. We got two levels uh, that we could choose from. But first, let's go. Also, we don't get to take Yoshi in other levels, which sucks. I hate to get the games do this, but I think they do it for other reasons. So here we have a pink baby Yoshi, which we need for this level. So let's do it. I will show you guys what this does. So baby Yoshi here, he's pink. Oh, I guess I'll listen to this. I almost died, holy shit. So what he can do is he can blow up like a balloon, and you can ride him like a hot air balloon. And I think it's hilarious. I love this. Of all the the color Yoshis, this is my favorite. And this is obvious, obviously a reference to Mario World with the three Yoshis. There's pink, blue, and yellow. Or yeah, pink, blue, and yellow. I think it's supposed to be red, but it looks pink. Or magenta. Whichever it is, it's a pretty pink. I like the color. But it's kind of the opposite of what um, they were trying to do with the other Mario, the Mario World, where it's like, oh, red shot fire, this one doesn't anymore, this one floats. The blue one we'll get to, and the yellow one we'll get to as well. We don't need that. 
Also, ooh, let's do dang this. You can also glide and then do that. For better mobility. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I love this level for this this reason alone. It's so much fun. Ooh, a one up. Let's go down here. Ooh. This is gonna be risky, but we can try. No! No, 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 no. No, thank you. Oh, that was scary. Yeah, this thing can help you in a pickle. I love the baby Yoshi singing, he's so cute. <laughs> Here's a weird looking ring that they introduced only in this game. The green coin ring. It will split these like three green coins in like a pattern. And all you get is similar to the red coins, but stupid. <gasps> no! I lost baby Yoshi! No! Baby Yoshi! Oh, I was gonna keep him. That's okay. Cause I think I need him for the last star coin. Oh, this sucks. Oh, that was close. That's one of the more stressful star coins. Out of many. Ooh. Oh, that was so close. We did it though. Top of the flag full. Really? Top of the flagpole. I said that completely backwards. Uh, that was a quick fun level. Baby Yoshi does not appear again until I think... I don't know how long it takes, but we're going to the next level. We are almost done with World 1 already, which is honestly crazy to me. Acorn Plains. It's not a, this game is going to be super short. I will mention that. It's super. This game is going to be super short. Um, it's not a long game. Um... But there is full of it's gonna be like I said, it's gonna be a really fun, relaxing time. And you guys can sit back, grab some snacks, and please if you guys do end up eating uh, eating some snacks while watching, tell me what you eating. What are you eating? Like what snacks you got? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but you know, kick back, relax. You can even sleep in it to my videos if you want. Some I've been told that some people do that, and I think that's really admiring. I've gotten a lot of kind comments lately, and I'm super grateful for that, to be completely honest. Because I was so worried about this. This whole YouTube thing that scared me. And I was worried pe I, people wouldn't like my content, but lo and behold, uh, we've reached over 50 subscribers, and I am so fucking grateful for that. Like, you guys do not know how happy that makes me feel. We are halfway to 100, and hearing and feeling that, or knowing that, just makes it makes it a better feeling, in my opinion. And I do have stuff I do have stuff planned uh, for a 50 subscriber special. I just don't know what to do. Um, I may or may not stream or not stream. <laughs> I can't stream at the moment. Um, I may or may not play the upcoming Splatfest for Splatoon. That would be fun. That'd be fun to do. That's next weekend, so we can get ready for that. Um, also, this room is a this room is really annoying because you can't. I don't know. It's weird. You have to have the fire flower. I feel like unless you don't, and I'm wrong. Okay, there we go. I don't know. I'm not sure if you need the fire flower for this. Do you? What's up here? Oh no, there's a star right here. Duh. <laughs> All right, second star coin. But anyways, the Splatfest is coming up. I could do that for our 50 subscriber special and then get like a party. That actually is really cool. But if you guys have any ideas, don't hesitate to tell me. I'd love to hear your uh, hear your suggestions of what I could do. I do love playing Splatoon after all. It's a fun game to, sh uh, to just play for you guys. I'll eventually play through it, but not right now. But yeah, I, I'm super grateful for fi over 50 subscribers. Thank you so much. I know that's a small number now, but it means a lot to me, and I'm glad everyone's enjoying my content. <laughs> that aside, here we have something new. I'm intentionally going to run into this guy. These are enemy encounters, or enemy ambushes. What we have to do is, well, in the, these are from the Wii version. What you have to do is just kill all the enemies. But in the Wii version, you used to have to get all these toad balloons, or toad tokens, and then a chest would appear and you get three mushrooms. But that's not the case here, sadly. Kind of disappointing. And yeah, that's it. There's a few of them. 
but we're gonna move on to Lemmy's castle. Lemmy's swingback castle. But yeah, um, what was I saying before the subscriber thing? I can't remember now. <laughs> Jeez. I go from one topic to the next. Oh, I want to talk about an upcoming game. I want to talk about some game ideas that I have in my head. Um, so, I have had a lot of Let's Play ideas for games I could Let's Play besides this, obviously. I know we just started one. Um, but I wanted to address it just because it'd be fun to talk about. Um, I have a lot in mind. And I want to pitch that, pitch these ideas to you guys. Because it'd be super duper fun. Whoa. Because it'd be super duper fun to do, you know? Um, so... I want to I want to know if you guys would like to would like to watch me play a JRPG or just a role playing game in general. Well, technically I already did cuz Zelda's an RPG, uh, a role playing game, action role playing game. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that was close. Holy shit. Oh, anxiety. No, okay, I got to focus. Hold on. Oh. This is only world 1 and why am why, why is it getting me stressed? Let's go in the pipe. Oh, that was close. Ah, I think we actually need this uh, this uh, item to progress. Yeah, we do. It's actually recommended because it's that. But yeah, I want to pitch. Do you, would you guys watch me play a 100 hour long JRPG? If so, I would be. I would love to play it for you guys. I won't say what it is uh, for other reasons. Or for reasons that I don't want to disclose right now. But, I just wanted to pitch the idea. So, anywho. We're about to fight our first boss already. Whee! <laughs> Since when did the Koopalings have their own airships? Oh wait, I guess they did in Mario 3, didn't they? Here is Lemmy Koopa. So his, his boss has been different for over the years. Uh, he's gonna throw bomb bomb like balloons or balls at us, but we're just gonna jump on his head. It's pretty simple. These bosses aren't too in depth, but I do want to show like all their attacks because I don't want to just be scummy about it and just completely ruin the whole immersion for the game because I want to show off their attacks. This thing is broken. Now he's gonna throw a big bomb ball. But he's dead. And that's it. That is all of World 1 completed. <laughs> Already. Oh, the baby Yoshi's back. So we can check. If we press pause, we can check our star coins, change our character, our remotes, save, quick save, and all that kind of stuff. Check our star coins, and we're missing one. Alright, let's go back to the tower level and go do that. And I'll see you guys where the star coin was. Okay, I'm back, um, midway through the castle. I don't remember where exactly the start gun was, but I passed the first one already. And the second one can't be too far back. I think. It's not here. Oh, it's right here! Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, we found it, that's it. That's all the star coins. Alright, I will beat this castle. And I'll see you guys back on the world map. And that's it. I want to thank you all so much. And I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed uh, the first episode of New Super Mario U Deluxe. In the next episode, we're going to be taking. We're going to be doing World Two. 
and keeping on on this really really relaxing journey and hopefully getting more even more closer to princess peach see you guys then